Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. This is Captain Ron Phillips here. We are back with our Romulan character on New Romulus itself. We are here at the Pejos Crater. We had just in the last episode gone through a mountain passage and uh, watched a uh, secret Tal Shiar video recorded on a uh, recording uh, camera there from the shuttles. Uh, and now we have this other hidden message that came with it. It said, The Tal Shiar aren't our biggest problem. As you've probably seen, Tholians have an interest in this planet too. Go to, a ca go to the cave entrance in a small crater in the forest. Find a Tholian console. Use these codes, they have to work, they have to, and message playback. And if you remember, when we found New Romulus uh, with our uh, Romulan character, we actually ran into the uh, Tholians running around here. So, this is going to be interesting. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to see what's going on here. The Overgrown Cave Instance. Here we go, folks. Let's see what the Tholians are up to. We thought the Tall Shiar was it. We got another thing coming. Okay, so it says locate the missing scientist. Nice overgrown stuff in here. This is... My back is killing me. Has anybody seen Talar? Uh, here's the science team leader. I'm very glad you could take time to assist us. We've been having some strange occurrences lately. Noises we can't identify are being heard deep in the caves. And our supplies keep disappearing. One of my scientists volunteered to investigate, and he hasn't returned. Would you be willing to look for him? Any scans you could take when you're in the caves would also be very helpful. All right, scan artifacts and search for the missing scientist. Absolutely, we'll look for him. All right. So here's some of these artifacts, these weird blocky like square things here. Rather weird looking. We have ten of those to scan. My poor back is killing me. Some of these poor people, I swear. A jungle in the cave here. There's some more Romulans here. Huh? So we obviously haven't gone deep enough. Oh! Scorpions! People are just acting like nothing's going on. Okay. This place is starting to kind of give me the creeps. It's nice that these plants are giving us some light. Oh no! Jeez. I hate scorpions. This moaning is kind of not freaking me out, but 
getting kind of uh, kind of wondering here. Hello. That's a Tholian force field. to clear up some of the interference. I am detecting Tholian life signs ahead of your coordinates. Please proceed with caution. Location, deadly force, oh great. I've done made him mad. Tholians seem to be gathering information on the Daywan ruins. They appear to be especially interested in the relationship between the Daywans and the Iconians. Really? unusual to see a plant of this type thriving so far underground. We know that the people who once lived on this plant retreated to caves after some type of environmental disaster. Perhaps they bioengineered plants that could survive underground as food sources. We're still seeing the results of their experiments thousands of years later. That's pretty good. There's another figurine. Tholians seem to be collecting extensive data about Daywan technology. They seem to be particularly interested in artifacts relating to gateway technology. Here? On this place? That means there's a gateway somewhere here on the Romulus. Translate inscription. The last days of the day once part six. Retranslated inscription of monument six.
Whoa, get out of my way, get out of my way. Holy crap. Holy crap. this. Don't move, don't move. There we go. Oh, that made you jump. into the new Romulus cave. Must be here. Input the lean codes. Alright, oh, we stand this way. Silly. These Tholian access codes look like they give us a tunnel directly into their main system logs. Accessing now. They work! Are you ready to view the logs? Yep, let's see what's going on here. Does that mean the Tholian's attack on the vault is nothing more than a distraction? Also, why are these artifacts so important? Preparing to submit the recording to command now, sir. Alright. And that was web access. Let's get on out of here. Exit the cave, please. Whew. 
Keep this information confidential. Obviously, there's a lot going on with the history of this world, far beyond our own arrival. We need to discover its secrets before the Tall Shi'ar does. Keep exploring. We have multiple teams looking into these issues. But so far, you've developed our best intelligence. All right. Greetings. Congratulations, Admiral. Right. Wowzers. That was web access, guys, and we have one final mission um, here on Nimb on uh, New Romulus here, and that is oh no, there's two. Uh, visit a conference with the Ton and discuss the latest findings. That's latest findings, and then episode eight here. Um, greetings, Sub-Admiral. Daton has formally requested your presence at one of our research facilities, and I must say, it's quite the pleasure to meet you. I've heard so much about everything you've done for us. Please report as soon as you're able. Thank you. Report to the capital on New Romulus and attend a special meeting with Daton. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that real quick, because that's actually not too long. So we gotta head back on over here. Back to the staging area. research presentation. I assume you're here to attend the meeting with Daton? Yes, we are. And this is only a couple minutes, so you guys aren't going to... This is good. Here we go. I'm grateful for all you've done for our colony. We wouldn't be as far along as we are without your assistance. That's why I wanted you here today, to hear for yourself some of what we found. Doctor? What we found in our archaeological surveys is that the planet was populated long before our people arrived after the Sundering. We've discovered multiple ruins from that time period that correspond to the few historical records we still have. Most of our data from that era was lost with the homeworld. And the sword? I'm ready to confirm that the blade found at the battle site is the sword of the Raptor Star. We don't have a visual record of the sword, but the one we have matches written accounts, and a quantum analysis shows signs of master work. Something like this could have only been made by Saharian. We were right to come here. The sword will become a symbol of our reborn civilization. Um, you were saying there was an earlier culture. What do you know about them? The oldest ruins we found are approximately 150,000 years old but I suspect that there may be some even older, based on preliminary findings that are still being analyzed. These people were quite advanced. While the oldest ruins show a culture that was defined by its devotion to a series of deities, later they developed technology, art, even spaceflight. Roughly 150,000 years ago, however, there was some sort of worldwide seismic event. Every volcano on the planet erupted presumably blocking out the sun. Ambient temperatures dropped dramatically. The radiation count spiked. We're still repairing that damage. The survivors of this cataclysm retreated to caves in the warmest areas of the planet, but they died out soon afterward. And what caused this event? We're still working on that. We have found a new site deep underground near an active volcano, but there are massive power spikes unrelated to the magma flow. If there is a source of the seismic instability, it should be there. 
We would have to send down a team to investigate, though, and it is quite dangerous. I wouldn't send anyone down without an environmental suit. I could go myself, but... I'm not ready to authorize you to do that, Doctor. Our people have too few scientists left. You and your crew are better equipped and trained for something like this. I know I'm asking a great deal of you, but you have been instrumental in our progress so far. Finding this world, fighting Hakib, stopping the Ilachi, we wouldn't be here without you. We have a new future now, a new legacy for all of us. Are you willing to see it through to the end? All right. Submit the report. Looks like it's up to us, sir, and we should prepare a full away team for this assignment. I also should note that we've been given permission to view the security footage from that presentation. Just return to this location and ask one of the security officers. Shall we file a report on these findings? Yep. All right. Now that supposedly completes the new new Romulus story arc, but it doesn't because they got ahead of themselves. New readings have been detected in the underground ruins on New Romulus. We need you to clear a path to the lowest levels and then signal us so the Titan and our scientists can investigate. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. You guys go in a little head there. So we need to go to the underground ruins. See, we're up here in the staging area. We were just here. We need to go all the way down here. Uh, let's see, there's a transporter there. This is the nearest transporter. We'll have to go through the ruins here where there are Tholians and make our way here. All right. That should be, yeah, that's Secrets of the Ancients, yes. That's the last one, guys. All right. So, thank you very much for joining me here in this little bit of a two-parter here on Star Trek Online. I hope you enjoyed the episode and what's going on here with our Romulan character and their new home in New Romulus. If you did, hit that like button, sit that subscribe to the channel, and there is more to come, more to see. We will finally, on our next episode, finally finish our Romulan separate story uh, character. And we will discover the secrets of the ancients and find out what's going on down there. Which will lead into everything coming together. Uh, which is the sphere of influence where everybody's story converges. Everybody has their own separate stories. Uh, like how we had here with the... Um, from the ashes, in shadows, wasteland, all that stuff here for the Romulan. The Klingons have their own. The Federation has the war with the Klingons going on right now. But once we hit this spot here, the Solene Dyson Sphere, the Sphere of Influence, as you can see, Worf is there. What we find, whatever happens in Secrets of the Ancients, all leads to all three major uh, uh, parties getting together and joining up together as one united force here in this string of missions from here on out. So, that, we'll, we'll see, we'll just have to see what that is, folks, in Secrets of the Ancients. Again, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. This is Captain Ron Phillips. You guys are great. I thank you very much. You guys take care.